What's going on guys? So today I'm sharing a uh, pretty cool find from a, a little mom and pop uh, hardware store. Um, these are Strike Anywhere matches. And you can see I already broke into these packs here. So let me tell you a quick story. Uh, about, mm, I want to say six months ago, eight months ago, something like that. I was doing a little traveling with uh, my parents and uh, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. And there was a little uh, hardware shop. My dad wanted to stop in and get a, a couple um, uh, brackets for something. And uh, while we were in there, I was looking around. And they had like a ton of like new old stock. All right. So if you're not familiar, new old stock is basically stuff that was brand new, but really old. All right. It's stuff that was sold in like maybe the late 80s, early 90s. You're talking about like, you know, walking to a hardware store and seeing like phone jacks, phone cables, you know, uh, most homes don't even have phone cables unless you have, you know, dial up internet or something. You know, a lot of the, the packaging in, in many of these aisles were, hasn't been literally touched in 20 years, just sitting there on the shelf, 20, 30 years. Um, in some cases, the, the white clamshell packaging is actually yellowed, like literally has deteriorated that much over the years. And it's just been sitting on the shelf for sale, just no one bought it in 30 years. It, it's crazy. So there's a lot of hardware stores uh, like this all around the country anyway, in America. And, um, you know, they, they sell a certain amount of things like nuts and bolts and, you know, whatever, tools. But a lot of their store, like they have large stores with a lot of inventory, but a lot of those random things, you know, like old speakers, you know, for stereo systems people don't even have anymore. Um, maybe like plungers that no one ever bought, like literally sitting there for decades. And it fills up their store with inventory but it just sits there, no one buys it. They have a certain amount of things they sell daily to make money, you know, so they stay in business. And in some cases, these are like hobbies where these people don't need their, their money from their store to actually survive. They're living off retirement or whatever, and they're just running the store to have something to do. So anyway, the reason I'm telling you this is because a lot of hardware stores, at least in Pennsylvania, uh, sold guns and sold ammo, at least years ago they did. I remember I talked to uh, a friend on YouTube who used to buy all of his guns from a a true value hardware store. <laughs> this was like, I don't know, early 2000s, so it's not that old, you know? Uh, but it's a dying thing, you know, to walk into a hardware store and you know, buy a pack of nails and, you know, a, a, a pistol, you know what I'm saying, a box of ammo and a sledgehammer, you know what I mean? But guns are tools. And so a lot of hardware stores did sell guns and ammunition. And you just don't see that very often these days. But this particular one still had a bunch of ammunition. They didn't have any guns for sale. They had some really, really oddball ammo. Like if you're looking for a very specific caliber, they, they might have had it. They had probably two full shelves of stuff I never even heard of before. But the one thing they did have that uh, my wife shoots is 20 gauge um, shells for her shotgun. She has multiple shotguns in 20 gauge. Um, and so I ended up getting all of the slugs that they had there for the, uh, they're like the five shot box of Remington slugs. And I want to say they were like three or four dollars a box. I was shocked, you know, because obviously the inflation of ammo prices, but these prices were still like the prices of that ammo that were set on there from like, I don't know, the mid nineties. Now that story leads into the next story, which was yesterday. I ended up buying this stuff from another hardware store. Again, mom and pop shop. They had a bunch of stuff in the store, like tons and tons of inventory, but they had aisles of stuff that's just crusty and dusty that no one's ever bought anything for probably the last 10, 15 years, easily. Uh, and although I found a lot of random stuff in there, they actually have like a little section that's almost like a garage sale. It's literally just like used clothes and CDs and stuff. Uh, they actually have quite a bit of things. I mean, generally speaking, places like this, the prices are more expensive. Like if you went to Lowe's or Home Depot, everything would be a half or a third of the price but you have to understand they're buying this stuff from places like that and just stocking their store. You know what I mean? So they're there just to make money and I totally get it. And I don't, I don't mind uh, spending a little extra support a, a small local business. I've always said that, um, you know, these are the, the businesses that ran America for a very, very long time. And uh, yeah, I'd love to get the cheaper price. And if I'm out by Lowe's or Home Depot, I certainly will. But uh, if I need something local, that's the point. You're paying extra for the convenience. You know, where I live, there's two, maybe even, th no, there's actually three that I know of off the top of my head, possibly more, somewhat, you know, local. When I say local, you know, I have to drive everywhere uh, for, for stores where I live, but these are all places within 10 minutes. And uh, all three of these places have inflated prices on stuff, but it's convenient. So if I'm doing a project, I don't want to drive an hour, you know, or 40 minutes to Home Depot or something like that. So I don't mind paying a little extra. Like I said, it's supporting local business, which is always nice. Um, but anyway, so I was at this hardware store 
And uh, as I was leaving, I actually got a couple uh, no trespassing signs for the property. And uh, I saw these by the counter and I was blown away. I haven't seen Strike Anywhere matches in years. So I want to make a video on it because believe it or not, you might be older and you're like, yeah, Strike Anywhere matches. I used to love those and they don't make them anymore. Um, but if you're younger, you might not have ever even seen this before. And as I get older, it feels more and more weird to think that like, some people have never seen these before because I haven't seen them in years and I'm pretty sure they stopped making them years ago. So uh, I didn't buy everything. I was very tempted to just clear them out and buy everything they had because the prices were crazy low. You know, this big old pack of what? We have 10, 10 small boxes. It was $1.79. All right. I bought two of those and I bought, they only had two large kitchen size. So I ended up buying these. And how much were these? There's no price on there, but I want to say it was $2.50 or something like that. So I already broke into these, as you can see. So taking a closer look here, all right, take a match out. You can see they have green heads and a very distinctive white tip. All right, and all the magic happens at that little tip. It is a combination of three chemicals, uh, sesquisulfide, potassium chlorate, and phosphorus. And what happens is it, it reacts to friction. All right, so when you rub this on something that's rough, my hand's not gonna work, but the idea is that when you rub this across a rough surface, this reacts, uh, heats up very, very quickly and combusts, all right? And while doing so, it lights the head of the match. Now, like a normal match, you could still strike it on the side and that's what most people do, all right? So you'd use it like any old match. But the advantage here is that once your, uh, your striker pads are completely worn out, you know, and I'm sure some people use matches all the time. You've experienced this where you go to strike it and there's just nothing left. It's just completely worn. Now the matches are pretty much useless because without a striking pad, a normal red match will not light. And it doesn't really matter if it's red or not. The matches come in all different colors. But that's the point is that the reaction is between the striker pad and the head. Where in this case, that little white tip, it allows you to strike it on many other surfaces. Now it says strike anywhere, but they don't literally work anywhere because if a surface is too smooth, it doesn't work like this little placemat here all right i can rub all day long it's not going to uh create that reaction we're looking for if i try striking it on the cardboard here it's still too smooth however a rougher surface and i'm kind of looking around me right now to see what it is i mean i can light it off the table it works very well with the wood uh, but i don't want to make a mark on my table here um let's see Today's uh, EDC happens to be a Spyderco PM3, and that G10 is probably rough enough. And this is a used knife, so I don't mind a little mark on it. So here we go, rough surface. And there we go. So that's where the magic happens. It could be lit off of rough surfaces. Now this will probably wipe off. Now most of that wiped off fairly easily. I had marks on this knife already, so it's not a big deal. In fact, I'm going to do it again here. For a demo but if i were actually you know clean this it would come off fine but yeah the idea is that any rough surface um you could do this on your wall most paints inside homes have just enough texture where you could just quickly light it off the wall and it's not something you're doing all day long making marks all, all around your house and stuff it's just the idea is that you need a match you need to light something this is all worn out you can light it and strike it off other things you know you can you know, light it very easily off a concrete uh, sidewalk or something uh, any kind of stone anything that's slightly rough this G10 scale happens to be really well for that. There you see, works very, very well. As it's going over the rough texture and hitting those bumps, it's creating a lot of extra friction. And that's how this, uh, this works. But yeah, anyway, that is it. Just wanted to kind of show that for the people who haven't seen Strike Anywhere matches before, they are super, super cool. Now I will tell you, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you in detail here because it's the internet, even though information should be freely available, good and or bad information you can misuse. But I will say, well, how do I, how do I put this? <laughs> There's something that we did as teenagers that became very dangerous with these matches because we would cut the heads off and do something in something and it would make a loud noise and stuff. You probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but not only that, as you can imagine, if you have a strike where anywhere match and in, in just the right circumstance, if it happens to lightly rub against something, maybe it can light. So it could possibly be dangerous. And you know, in 2021, when I'm filming this video, dangerous things are just not allowed anymore. 
you know, anywhere. It's not allowed on the internet. It's not allowed uh, in real life. You just can't do anything because everyone's just scared. That's the society we live in. We're just scared and worried about other people doing bad things constantly. We live in a paranoid society. Um, but that's kind of been an ongoing theme. You know, things that used to be dangerous, we just don't like to do. We don't want our kids to get hurt. We don't want our neighbors to get hurt. So we filter that out of society now. That's our thing. Uh, I'm not into it. I'm all about freedom. Uh, definitely side on freedom. Maybe it involves a little bit of dangerous stuff, but hey, you have the choice to be dangerous or not. But anyway, I'm not going to get into a whole rant about our limited freedoms these days, but I will say that these things are darn cool. I don't think they make these, you know, you let me know. Let me know if, you know, what state you're from or what country you're from, because maybe outside the U.S. is still a thing. We have many different laws here that other places don't, but I have not seen these in probably over a decade at least. So it was a really, really cool find. I don't know if you could buy these like on eBay or something. I really have no idea. I didn't look into it, but I saw these at the hardware store and I thought I, I had to have them because it's just a really cool thing. Great for emergency preparedness. Think about this. When your pack of matches get wet and that strip is garbage, you could dry out your match, all right? And you can light this off of a tree if you needed to. You know what I'm saying? So even in a damp environment, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to strike that. You know, you, you just go and go and go and nothing. And you can't start your fire. However, with a Strike Anywhere match, you know, you could dry off that tip. Hopefully the actual head of the uh, match is dry enough to uh, ignite. But uh, with friction, you know, as soon as this dries out, uh, it, it can still work, which is really, really cool. So I got these specifically just to store. I don't use matches in my everyday life. I'm not a smoker. Um, uh, when I do have a cigar or a, a pipe or something, matches are very traditional. So once in a while, I'll use a match. But generally speaking, I'll use like a butane lighter. So there you go, guys. Just wanted to share that with anyone who hasn't seen it. And for the people who remember these, it's a cool little uh, throwback. Uh, let me know. Let me know if these are still available where you live and let me know roughly where you live. You don't have to give me your address, <laughs> but let me know like, hey, I'm in you know Tennessee or, or Arizona and yeah, I still see these at stores. It's not a big deal. I can tell you here in Pennsylvania and other states that I, I visit frequently, Connecticut, New York and New Jersey, uh, I don't see them. I just don't see them for sale anymore. So I want to say it's a thing of the past and they don't make them anymore, but I don't really know for sure. So I'm kind of asking as well here. So let me know if you've seen these before. If you still see them, if it's no big deal, but these are awesome. I just, I miss it. It's just a little glimpse into my childhood. We had these all the time. When you went to the store, they had a box of Strike Anywhere matches, and the next to it, they had regular matches. You know, and you, you pick whatever one you want. The Strike Anywhere ones were always a little bit more expensive because of the extra ability to strike them anywhere. So obviously, as you can see, you can't literally strike them anywhere. But that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video.